Hey, what's going on guys? Flick here and welcome back to another episode of Landon Donovan's Road to the U.S. Men's National Team. I do want to thank you guys that are showing support for this series. I thought you guys might not be enjoying it, but I've received numerous comments asking when's the next episode, Flick? When are you going to upload another episode of the Road to Glory? And here it is. I'm glad to be bringing it back for you guys. And the team is starting to shape up. We should be able to get into the silver stage in this episode. We just need to win a match and get three upgrades and then we'll have a full non-rare silver team that we can hopefully get into some rare silvers in this episode as well. I'd also like to shout out those of you that asked me to pick up the upgraded Matt Miazga before I had the 68 rated MLS card, but now we've got the 70 rated Chelsea card. If you guys are enjoying this series, be sure to leave a like down below and at the end of the episode, make sure to leave your player suggestions for me to implement in the next episode. Let's get into our first match. All right, hopping into the highlights, our first opponent had a cheap BPL side with some good players mixed in there. I really do rate Lukaku highly in this FIFA, and he's a very dangerous player up front, and here he is already bursting by our defense, and we're trying to close him down. Good save there by our silver keeper, and Boney unable to get that one on target, skies it over the crossbar, but we're coming right back. A little bit of lag there, but we're going to keep pushing on. Donovan gets some space, and he sees the man on the other side, tries to triple tap it, but unfortunately, that one is behind our attacker. And again, he's on the break. It's Lukaku on the right-hand side. Our defense is just not quick enough to come back. He plays in the middle. Good pass and find Sigurdsson. And Wilfried Boney does get the finish there. Making it 1-0 for my opponent in the 28th minute. So once again, we're going to have to come back from deficit. But we do my typical free kick strategy. Let's get, unfortunately, gets a block. But there's Remick cleaning up the mess. And he makes it 1-1 one one as we go into halftime. I was dominating the possession but he was getting a couple of more opportunities and shots on target than me. And right after kickoff, here's Romelu Lukaku. I've talked about how dangerous he is, and he just has to go from way out there. And our keeper probably should have done better, but I cannot discredit that kind of goal. It was a fantastic long shot from him. And surprisingly, he didn't watch the replays. Otherwise, I would have showed you guys. But Ship here, bursting by his defense, he's going to choose to square this one across. Falls to Davies. And once again, Davies at the right place at the right time and had just enough on that shot to get it by. I think it might have been Simone Mignolet. Uh, but again, we're pushing on, and here in the 62nd minute, Clark makes a fantastic save. We scramble to get that one out of there, and now we're in the 69th minute. Davies doing a nice little drag back to create some space for himself. Sees Donovan in the middle, going to play it across, and Donovan's just going to one-time it into the back of the net, making it 2-3, to three, and we weren't done there. Here's Donovan once again trying to get around the defenders. Falls to Davies. Davies plays it through, and a nice finesse shot there by our center attacking mid, making it 4-2, to two, and a comfortable lead for us. He gets one more opportunity here at the end of the game. We had the game pretty much sealed up, but he was trying to get a goal back. And, of course, this is important to the number of upgrades. Luckily, again, Clark making a big save. The match ends at 4-2, and we really dominated that second half. Davies ends up getting the man of the match with a 9.2 match rating. Donovan picks up a goal, and he was unable to pick up any assists. So let's hop into the upgrades. With that 4-2 win and Donovan contributing to one of the goals, we're going to be able to complete our silver side finally. We're going to start with our left back position. And for the silver left back, I've decided to go with Breck Shea. I really enjoyed using his card a couple of FIFAs ago. He used to play, I think it was for Birmingham, uh, but now he's back in the MLS playing for Orlando City. He's got a nice looking card, 78 pace, 71 dribbling, and 71 physical. I think he also has three star skills. Um, yes, he does. So he should be a good card. High medium work rates. He's tall. Should be a good player at the left back position. Acosta is our next player that we're going to be upgrading. And man, he has done his service for the team. He's been a great card. I would definitely recommend you guys try him out if you're building like a, a bronze MLS team. But we're going to upgrade to a silver CDM. It's going to be Okugo. 77 pace on him. And then 74 physical. Not the highest rated card, but he's got good individual stats. So I thought I'd give him a go. And really, pace is important, especially at that CDM position. And lastly, we're going to be upgrading our right back. Jimenez has also been a fantastic player for the team. But we're going to be upgrading to Franklin. He's got 84 pace on him, 70 defending, as well as 76 physical. So a fantastic looking card. And this is going to complete our silver team. Let's get into our next match. Match number two will pit us against a Serie A side. Not exactly the most expensive players mixed in there, but some high-rated players. Pjanic, Higuain up front, and a good-looking side. And it's going to be Pjanic who starts things off. Luckily for us, though, Quadrado was off sides. Otherwise, we would have been down early. But here, Donovan gets the ball on the outside. And of course, we're going to do what we always do. Do that fake shot, cut inside, and we're going to go for that near post finish. Pepe Reina probably should have done better there. But regardless, it was 1-0 for us. And Donovan picking up that early goal. 
And, but once again, here's Higuain. He had an attribute card mixed in there, and I don't know if that made an impact on his pace. But he was certainly quicker than our defense, and he was able to make it 1-1. Keeper maybe could have made the save, and I was hoping that he could uh, just close off that near post. But he was unable to do so. But Clark coming right back and making a good save before halftime, which brings us to half. And once again, we're dominating possession, but not creating enough opportunities. We were looking to change that here in the second half, and it's Quadrado once again. He's going to go for the finesse shot, but it's Miazga who gets in front of it. And our defense has been rock solid for us. Uh, the combination of a do and Miazga has really proved to be difficult for our opponents to score goals. And here, nice build-up play. We're going to find a Kugo, and unfortunately, Reyna makes the save. That was some nice build-up. It would have been nice to be rewarded with a goal right there. But Donovan getting by the sliding defender, pushes this one forward and uses that pace. He's going to drag it back, play it inside, finds Davies. Davies lays it off to Franklin. Franklin finds Green, and that should have been the game-winning goal for us, Julian Green. It's been a bit disappointing, I'm not going to lie with you guys, but we're going to go into extra time. We still have an opportunity to win the game, and here's Julian Green doing something right. Crosses it to the far post, and that's our defender who is able to head home and get us the win, 2-1. to one. Pretty equal stats. We dominated possession. He had the same amount of shots on target. Donovan able to pick up the man of the match for us, picking up one goal, and he did not pick up any assists in this match as well. So let's get into the upgrades. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was the first game that we've actually won in extra time. But regardless, we're going to get two total upgrades for winning the match by one goal and Donovan contributing to one of the goals. And of course, the first position that I'm going to upgrade is our goalkeeper. I'm trying to get our goalkeeper upgraded as quickly as possible. Clark hasn't been too bad, but I'm really excited to be using this silver card that we're about to bring in. It's going to be Bill Hamid. He also has an upgraded rare gold card, but we're going to option for the rare silver. And this guy looks fantastic. 75 diving. 74 handling and 77 reflexes on a silver goalkeeper. Yes, please. Let's get him into the team. And for the next position we're going to upgrade, it's going to be Julian Green. He's been a bit disappointing and I just want to get him out of the team. He really hasn't done much for us on that right hand side. And I'm excited to be upgrading to the silver card. That's going to be Josh Gat. He's got 91 pace. He's got 73 dribbling. He's also got pretty good shooting and his passing isn't too great, but he does have four-star skill, so that's a big plus for him. Medium, medium work rates this year, so he's a fantastic looking card. Excited to use him. For our final match, we will once again be coming up against a Serie A side, and I'd argue that this one is a little bit better in that he's got Paul Pugba in there, who is very dangerous at the center attack in mid spot, and we had to watch out for him in this game. But right off the kickoff, things were going in our favor. The bounces just seemed to be going our way. Uh, the players who I wasn't intending to pass to seemed to pick up the ball and hits Josh Gat. Can he get an opening goal? No, but it's Davies cleaning up the mess once again. And I'd like to briefly talk about Davies. And you guys might be wondering why I'm not upgrading my striker right away. We have the option of potentially picking up Josie Altador, maybe Zardes. But honestly, Davies has been such a crucial player for this team. And even if he's not a rare silver, he just manages to score goals and he's always at the right place. So I'd like to keep him in the team as long as possible. He's probably going to be one of the last players that I upgrade. But Bill Hamid has been a fantastic addition to the team. And I can definitely notice the difference in having a rare silver keeper. And at that, Bill Hamid's one of the best rare silver keepers in the game, in my opinion. And he's been able to make a couple of good saves and it allowed us to go into halftime with a 1-0 lead. Pretty equal on the stats this time. We weren't dominating possession, but he was not dominating us in the shots or the shots on target. But here's Letjet once again being very, very careful with the build-up play. Waited for the right opportunity, and it's Donovan. He's not going to miss from there. He's just going to finesse it around the keeper. And at that point, we had a 2-0 lead. Things were looking good. Here his right back moves forward, and Insigne has a chance to get the goal. But Adu again gets the block in our defense playing very well in this mat. And here's Josh Gad again, showing what he can do with those four-star skills. Gets by a couple of his players. Really nice run. Unfortunately, though, Buffon makes the save, but I'm fully expecting Josh Gad to get some goals eventually for the team. We managed to get the 2-0 win, and in that match, it was Bill Hamid who got the man of the match, so a fantastic addition on his first match. Donovan able to pick up one goal, and he also managed to pick up one assist. Let's get in to the final upgrades. Well guys, I can't believe it. We've gotten three wins in our three matches. 
and we're gonna get three total upgrades for the next episode but I'm not gonna do the upgrades now I'm gonna let you guys leave your player suggestions down below and I'll be doing them at the start of the next episode let me know if you guys like that idea or whether you just want me to uh, do the upgrades at the end of the episode like I've done in previous episodes. But regardless, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.